There's no one interested in history. Hello everyone out there in YouTube, it's me the Pandorica Opens and welcome back to my Doctor Who action figure reviews. This one has been a long time coming, I mean it was a number of months since I said I was going to do this review, but unfortunately as you know, may or may not know, I lost all my files, so I had to completely remake everything, and then of course if you've been tuning into my channel I, you may know I've also been trying to make a movie, but that's now ground to a bit of a halt. Um, because I can't get people for filming and stuff so I thought it's time to bring back the action figure reviews and um, what better way to start off than with the most popular of the classic doctors generally that's what he's known as it's the fourth doctor as played by Tom Baker but you already know that I mean when people say Doctor Who this is usually the man that everybody is talking about um, today I've decided that the figure I'm going to focus on is the Season 12 version of the Fourth Doctor. This is basically his first season costume, as he has so many different variants. Um, and I'll start off with his accessory for this review. And of course it's a sonic screwdriver. Um, apologies, this may be blurry. camera is having a few issues. Um, this sonic screwdriver is very, very nice. It's silver with the red tip um, I can't get that into focus um, there we go and a silver dot there, now I'm not sure whether the sonic screwdriver had a silver dot at that point but I'll give it a free pass, if someone can tell me please let me know but the sonic screwdriver did change drastically over the time of his tenure, I mean he's the longest running doctor so f from the classic series if you discount Sylvester McCoy's um, period of not being on TV um, and the screwdriver did change I mean uh, later on I think it had gold on it and it got slightly bigger I'm not sure but it's a nice accessory there's lots of nice rivets and la lines for the separate sections um, it's well it's just a very nice accessory it would have been good if this could have come with a bag of jelly babies but you can easily find a generic bag of jelly babies as a toy to put in with um, now, as for the actual figure, this figure is brilliant. It's not entirely accurate, it's very, very close. Um, I mean, they've done a really good job with this figure um, with, in terms of accuracy. Um, I'll start off with articulation before actually reviewing the detail of this figure. Um, his head can... Oh, this is a problem with my mine unfortunately it's got a very loose head plug so if I try to turn it it will come off so the head won't do a 360 while the scarf is on as the scarf goes all the way around as you can see um, but it can do a 360 if you take the scarf off which is a feature I'll look at later um, arms can do a 360 he has 360 in the bicep, his arms can bend so you can pose him in all sorts of poses and his hands can do a 360 as well um, his legs go up and down which is a standard for most figures, no thigh articulation, knees can bend um, oh sorry ankle articulation not thigh articulation um, the thighs, mine are very stiff as I don't tend to move mine very much uh, they can do a 360 and uh, and the waist can move, it's just very, very stiff and the coat moves and stuff. But it's a very, it's basically standard doctor um, articulation for this figure. Now for the detail, um, I'll begin with the head sculpt as, as you can see there are two head sculpts for this figure. This figure when it was released in wave one came with an interchangeable head and a piece of the K1 robot. Um, and I don't. I had to get mine on eBay, so I've only got this figure, um, not the K1 robot, which is a shame. But um, let's look at the head. Um, as you can see, ooh, let me just move that back a little bit. 
That's very nice. Tom Baker is grinning. He was known for his smile. I do apologise for camera quality. Um, it, it's he's got his smile, his blue eyes. He has eyebrow. Brow, you can see his eyebrows, which he shouldn't really have. He has very, very, very faint eyebrows. Ah, there we go. Now you can see a bit better. Um, his hair is sculpted brilliantly. You've got all the curls, sideburns. Uh, it's flattened, obviously, by the hat. And the hat is made out of very rubbery material. This is his season 12 hat. It can, um, it can move. You can actually mould it a little bit, but it's generally just like that. And it's a very nice head sculpt. Uh, the hat, just to note, does change throughout his tenure. This is the first hat. Um, I will now show you the alternate head, so I'll just pop that off. As you can see, that came off straight away because the plug on mine is very, very loose. And this head might not actually fit on, but we'll give it a go. Oh. And this is the solemn-headed Tom. Um, yeah, as you can see, it, mine can't go on properly because the plug is damaged. Um, I'll just show you this um, as well. Um, very very nice it's he's got a very serious look on his face as he did on did on occasion he wasn't always smiley although um, he generally did again the eyebrows are very obvious and they maybe shouldn't be um, the hair detail on this particular head is excellent um, it's got all the curls because there's no hat now so you can see all the curls they've sculpted it very nice it's a separate piece to the main head um, it's been glued on um, and as you can see it's all very nicely detailed they've given it a wash of various browns and dark colours um, to give it that nice little effect and it's very very good um, now the costume I'll begin with the scarf because the scarf is obviously his probably the most iconic part of his costume I mean, um, the this is the first scarf as the pattern does change um, in his second season bits of the scarf were removed it should it gets shorter bits get added etc it gets it gets much longer in later seasons um, the pattern is very very good very nice it, they've even got the garter stitch detail on the scarf which you probably won't be able to see um, on here I'll try and show you there you can just about see it um, the pattern is very very close to how it is on the ac the actual scarf I do have the actual scarf from Lavazi um, and it goes around his neck very nice um, the pattern carries on and the good thing about the early fourth doctor release was they painted both sides now later scarves they didn't paint both sides for example the pyramids of Mars Tom they gave him a scarf which is different to this one because it had bits have been removed it should have been shorter um, but the other side wasn't painted um, I'll just show you that now very quickly um, this is the Seeds of Doom Tom um, which interestingly I just discovered today ha was given a Pyramids of Mars scarf I don't know why but my Tom from the Eleven Doctor set had a Pyramids of Mars scarf rather than the standard and it's supposed to come with the standard so that was a nice rarity because that means the scarf is correct for the season the only problem with this one is it's not painted on the back and the pattern is a bit elongated but that's enough of that for now we'll focus on this figure um, the good thing about this figure is you can pull the scarf off and display him without it because there were occasions where he didn't wear the scarf if you didn't just notice it the plug did just dip into his um, body, that's why the head won't fit on particularly well um, but let's go into the detail of the rest of the costume um, he is wearing his red coat from his first season um, he wears this up until the Plants of Evil um, but that's with a different waistcoat, the waistcoat of the other figure you saw um, the, it's very nice, it's got all sorts of creases in it um, the pockets are sculpted on very nicely, the buttons are there, the buckle detailing at the back, two stripes, more creases, and his pockets, I quite like this feature on his pockets, his pockets are two different are two different sculpts, one actually looks bigger than the other, that's because Tom Baker's pockets were jam-packed with things like yo a yo-yo, jelly babies, 
Um, if you watch Robot, he pulls out all sorts of things from these pockets. I, I'd assume that one's the one with the um, jelly babies in, and you know, all these other bits and bobs. And I think that's a very, very nice addition. Um, his shirt is the a sort of um, is white with a um, turquoisey blue. Um, stripy pattern. Now the shirt should be a li an off blue, but it um, it isn't. But it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Um, and the cravat is in the correct colour. However, it should have a pattern on, but on such a small scale, that would be very very difficult for them to replicate. Kind of like with the Colin Baker coat. It's just the finer details are impossible to get on such a small scale. His waistcoat is the one from this season. He wore this. Um, for most of season 12, um, but actually I think it was the whole of season 12. Um, it's very, very nice. Got the diamond pattern in yellow and blue. The TARDIS keychain is on there. It's very, very nice. Um, they actually run. They released this figure with its TARDIS from Planets of Evil. Um, they released this figure. It shouldn't have been this. Well, it should and it shouldn't. It should have had the waistcoat of the figure I showed earlier and the cravat, but it should have been this coat. Um, but they didn't go with that so it wasn't quite right. Um, the trousers they're just grey which are as they were in the show they're yeah, very very nice they've got all sorts of creases and creases in them and his shoes are brown shoe are brown they're very very nice they did these in a variety of different paints depending on which release of this doctor it was because this doctor has been released innumerable times uh, it's got nice little detailing. I'll try and see if I can get it. shoelaces. It's got the dot, the indentations, everything. They're very, very nice and a bit of a dirt pattern. And that is pretty much it for this figure. Um, my final thoughts. Um, if you don't have a season 12 fourth doctor, then track it down. I mean, it's it's probably the most likely fig doctor figure for you to get because it's the most common it's been released it was released in wave one it was released with a TARDIS it was released in the adventures of the fourth doctor set it's just been it's ridiculous how many times this has come out um, and each one has something slightly different the screwdriver might be a bit different on the other one of them has a gloss coated yeah it's got a gloss coat basically and it's all, and the shoes get repainted in a different kind of paint. I think it's gloss as well, and they just change fine details. And like I said earlier, this scarf on one of them is shorter, which should have been a sculpt for later Tom Baker's Tom Baker scarves. Um, so yeah, definitely get try and track this down. It shouldn't be that expensive. The Wave One release probably would be quite expensive, but you can get them on eBay loose um, quite cheaply. I got mine on eBay for about five pounds as I missed wave one I didn't start collecting until after wave one had been and gone um, and variant wise well a lot of variants have already come out and I'll do those in later reviews there are so many countless variants for Tom Baker's Doctor it's ridiculous I mean season 12 alone you've got the brown duffel coat that's been released but the accuracy on that is all wrong if you want to know more about that I'll do that in another review or go and watch uh, Batman Marches, Sontaran Experiment um, action figure review, or the Genesis of the Daleks review, because that figure's on there. But yes, definitely try and track this down, and that's basically it. Um, you get two heads, so you don't have to display him grinning like a lunatic like Sylvester McCoy. Um, he's got the solemn head, if you like the solemn head. I personally prefer the solemn head, although I display another Tom wearing with that head. Um, so, thank you for watching this review. It's been a long time coming, um, and it's not the last. I'm actually going to film one next. Um, so, join me next time when I will be reviewing the next Doctor on the list. Um, I've decided I'm going to go with the fifth Doctor, as played by Peter Davison, and I will be looking at two variants. It will be his season, his first two seasons, his first season costume and his final season costume I'm forgetting which season ah yes yeah, seasons 1920 costume and his season 21 costume 
Um, so thank you for watching this review guys and I shall see you in the next episode.